As lawlessness spread throughout the Republic, the Kuat drive yards earned huge profits, building warships for wealthy core worlds and sector self-defense. 31 years before the Battle of Yavin, the KDY is asked to fulfill a secret contract to build Star Destroyers, large battle cruisers, and smaller assault ships. Palpatine orders shipyards and bases to be secretly built in the Unknown Regions as part of the contingency to ensure his power. The Venator-class destroyer became the backbone of the Republic Navy. KDY built on that design to create the Imperator-class destroyer, which saw limited service in the Clone Wars. By 19 BBY, the Empire contracted the Kuat Drive Yards as the exclusive supplier of Star Destroyers for the Imperial Navy, and it became the best-known symbol of the regime's power. Between 19 and 3 BBY, the Empire experimented with larger battlecruiser models such as the Asserter and Bellator, but few of these ships were built. The KDY introduced the Imperial II-class Star Destroyer in 5 BBY. A year later, the Empire tested a prototype Interdictor-class destroyer capable of pinning ships in real space, making traveling at faster than light speeds impossible. After the destruction of the first Death Star, the Empire shifted focus to its navy and the creation of the Executor-class Star Dreadnoughts. When the First Order claims power, it constructs new Star Destroyer classes to conjure memories of Imperial power and terrorize its opponents. Subscribe and follow for more Star Wars content.